Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to type integration in LaTeX. You can see that I have a single integration over here. I have a, a double integration over here. Let's get started and let's learn how to type these things in LaTeX. Of course, I have uh, my uh, text studio open here with uh, simply an article class. I just have a begin document and end document and I have a section over here. I did not include any packages over there as well. I don't need any packages to write integration as well. So let me start typing. So if I write slash begin equation and uh, slash end equation, between that if I write something, then that will become a displayed entry. All right. So how do I do that? The typing integration is very simple. It's just a command called slash and then int. That's all. So that's all the limit it says. So if I write simply slash int and compile this, and I get an integration symbol over here. If you notice this that's the integration symbol now to get a give a limit if i have to give a limit the lower limit can be given by an underscore followed by uh, curly braces and i can write my lower limit let's say suppose i want to write zero and i in, in the upper limit after coming out of the curly braces let me zoom it a bit and show you and after coming out of the curly braces if you write a cap symbol which is usually in your number six in your uh, keyboard uh, just press shift and then number six which I think you must be getting the cap symbol over there and then put another curly braces and write slash uh, anything you want let's say suppose one that's all so then now if I compile this then I get zero to one so you notice this let me zoom this also again a bit more yeah so zero to one that's all I want so anything I wanted in the integrand I can write f of x dx equal to uh, something right they compile this and I get this. This is what I wanted. So the lower limit and upper limit. If you notice the limits, the limits are not exactly below the integral sign. And again, it's not exactly above the integral sign. Uh, that's because that's how the integration is, uh, has been usually there, usually defined. It. So if you still wanted this zero just below the integration sign itself, what you have to do is just go before this uh, limits wherever you have defined. Remember, just before the underscore go between the slash int and the underscore and type this command slash l i m i t s limits if you type slash l i m i t s which is limits and if i compile this now if you notice you get the limits exactly below the integral sign that's all i wanted for example okay fine let's type what we have in the uh, thumbnail so which is simply an integration and one plus x square dx correct so let's take off all of this again and write slash int and then uh, I I have a 1 plus x is, I'm sorry I should, should have been 1 divided by 1 plus x square that's what actually tan inverse of x right so let me write that of course I will change the thumbnail though so slash frac and then 1 divided by 1 plus x square you know that this is how we write the fraction right so if i compile this you will understand what i have done here so this one is actually is coming from this first bracket and then one plus x square is coming from the second bracket so if i write slash frac and the first curly braces you have to write the numerator and the second curly braces you need to write the denominators and write dx as usual and that's equal to tan inverse of x the way you write the tan here is uh, not simply like this it's actually slash tan. Right hand cap, and I need an inverse, so write whole to the power minus one, and then x, and then I also I need a constant c. So if I compile all of them together, I get integral one divided by x square one plus x square dx equal to tan inverse of x plus c. That's all I want. So second equation which I am seeing in the thumbnail is there are two integrals inside. And there is one big bracket also inside and this is the integration. Let me type that. So first of all, let me form an, another equation environment just by typing slash begin equation slash end equation. Let me hollow out my content here and then write slash int and what is the limit? The limit is 0 to 1 for the first integral. So let's write 0 to 1. Remember if you are having only one limit, which means just having 0 does not have anything else for example it does not have uh, 11 or something it's just one text 
then you don't have to actually have put your uh, curly braces as well, uh, unlike the previous one. So if I simply run this, and this also gives you the output whatever I wanted. So 0 to 1. As I said, if I wanted still below the uh, integral, what I can do, I can simply write slash limits before I put my limits over here, correct? That's all. So if I compile this, now this 0 has come down to integration, correct? Okay. What was here? I need one big bracket over here and then I have to put it inside another integral. Okay. The way you generate a big bracket which is related to which is relative to whatever it is here is simply by writing slash left and then whatever the parameter you wanted. So in this case what I wanted was a parenthesis so slash left parenthesis and then again let me close that as well slash right parenthesis and in between slash left and slash right I need my integration to be written correct. Let me give it a some space and start writing it here. So slash int and remember my limit for this is x square to x. Remember x square needs one more uh, text extra. So I need a curly braces to write it. Inside the curly brace I write x square and I come out of the curly brace and put one more cap and write the x. This time I have only one text so I don't need to write in fact even the curly braces. That's all. So I have written x square to x and I also need x plus 3 into dy correct inside that so that's i have that's a bracket x plus 3 into dy okay after that let me compile first of all and how so far what we have so so far if i compile this then i get 0 to 1 and there's a big bracket and x square to x oh i think i forgot to it's an underscore it should be actually plus it's not x underscore 3 it should be x plus 3 so if I compile this, I have x plus 3 times of dy. So once I completed this, I need one more dx outside of this bracket. So after the slash right uh, parenthesis, I write dx, which is equal to the answer is 7 by 12, which is again a fraction. So if I change this to 7, of course, slash frac, so within curly braces 7 and within curly braces 7 by 12, okay. Of course, it's a good practice to keep a full stop after the equation. So that's it. So zero to one, and then uh, left curly braces, alert uh, left parenthesis and right parenthesis, and inside that integral x square to x, x plus three dy into dx equal to seven by one. That's all for this video, and I'll discuss the double integration and triple integration in the next video. I'll see you in the next video.